Now you said you just reunited with your father a yeah. year ago. Mm -hmm. How has that journey been over the past 12 months? And I also want to add, did you, had you been in communication with him both before? Had you met him when you were younger or was this so, the first meeting? Oh my God, the story. I'm actually doing a one woman show about my life. Oh, so, okay. Pieces. <laughs> yeah. ah, yes. yes, pieces. Yeah. And I was going to ask you, I was like, is this based on a true story? <laughs> it is. Um, wow. So our relationship is, I don't even know what to call it. We're trying. So. Okay. okay. It's complicated. Figure it out. It's very complicated. Yeah. Very, very complicated. So I met him when I was 12. My mom, my aunt. That's just so a long mom. time. Um, we did a <laughs> okay, pop up in Florida. Mm -hmm. So we just popped up on him. Because he, you know, he would call and say, I'm going to send you this and send you that. Okay. So you had talked to him before. Right. I've talked to him before. I would run home after school, check in the mailbox. Oh. And every time I was disappointed, she was like, you know what? Let's just go pop up on him. You can meet him and figure it out. Mm. So we went and popped on him when I popped up on him when I was twelve. He wasn't ready to be a father then. So he wasn't ready to be a father later? when he had you, nor twelve years later. No. Oh my god. So that broke my heart. And so And he mom, told you this. He was just like, I'm just, just not like, ready. Well he didn't say that. He was just like, Well, I can't take off work. I don't know why you guys came. I don't like and I'm just like, You're my father. Like, yeah. are you serious? So she was like, just dead him in your mind. Mm -hmm. He doesn't exist. And mm -hmm. I'm like, you can't tell me that my father doesn't exist. Right. That's not how that works. <laughs> she was trying to help. She yeah. was trying to help. So it just was recently, I say about two years ago, I called home and I said, you know, mom, I'm really just trying to figure out as I get older, what I'm going to experience, you know, health wise, like mm -hmm. what's in my family background, things right. of that nature. You want to know. So I was like, you know, do you have any information on my dad? She's like, well, let me see if I still have, have his number. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> like, you had this man's number? The entire time. Right. I need to figure that out. The 10 digits. Right? Yeah. So I called his parents' house, which was the number that she had, and his sister answered. I left a message. She knew exactly who I was, because I met her as well when I was 12. He called me back a week later. Mm -hmm. I was like an emotional wreck. Mm -hmm. We had this intense conversation. I just had so many questions. He had really no answers. So I was like, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'll plan a trip and I'm gonna go see him. And figure it out and really have that conversation because I just wanna know why. Why weren't you there? What happened? I have my mom's side of the story. Right. I need your side of the story. And it's not that, I, I mean, I hate him and I love him at the same time. Mm -hmm. And the reason why that is is because a dad's influence on a daughter's life propels her into relationships. Mm -hmm. Preach. And you know what I mean? And so if you don't Preach. have that, you don't have an example, you don't have a standard. Mm -hmm. So now we're forced to just pick what we what we just know and we don't know anything. Right. So we're settling. You're piecing things together right. as you go. You know, we're picking stuff that may not be good for yeah. us. And my relationships have all been bad. So, mm -hmm. and I'm not blaming him for that. Yeah. But at the same time, I needed you to show me what a man was supposed to be. Of course. Because Ooh. my examples haven't been what they should be. Yeah. Of course. PSA to all men out there. <laughs> yeah. Like PSA to men out there. If you didn't Don't listen, leave your daughters. If you didn't listen to the episode Sex Makes Babies, this is what we're talking about. Is yeah. if, men, if you're not ready to step up to the plate and be a father, and it's not just men. I mean there's women too Absolutely. who are having babies yeah. who are not ready to be Both mothers. That you need to be responsible yeah. in this action because you are creating a life. Yeah. And you're responsible for creating that a life. That needs to be shaped. Hundred percent. Yeah. And yeah. you have mentioned you're building a, a, trying to build a relationship with your biological father. Yes. Have you had any contact with your biological mother? Yes. Um, my biological mother was not able to raise me uh, due to a mental condition. Oh, okay. Um, and so, sorry, get emotional about this. Um, and so it's really hard because I never knew her. I was taken from her in three months. Oh. So I didn't know her. And your sister is older or younger? Yeah, she's older. Okay. She's um, three years older. Okay. So she has more of a memory of her uh -huh. than I do. Right. And so I need that from her. So for me, for the longest time, I felt like an orphan because I didn't have my biological mother, I didn't have my biological father. So who am I? Where do I come from? What's my background? Like, I need to know before I go out into the world and try to become somebody you know, amazingly influ influential, I need to figure out myself first. Of course. Um, so I do have a relationship with my mother. Um, it's not an easy one because of her condition. Right. Um, but I'm trying to work that out because I came out here to pursue a dream so that I could go back and take care of her. So oh, it's wow. just hard, you know? It's like yeah. you're trying to live your dream, you want to take care of your, your, your family, but at the same time, it's just, it's just rough. It's, it's a journey.